Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, ito na yung part 2 ng ating operations on radical. Kung una nyo itong nakita bago yung part 1, stop na muna kayo ha! Wait a minute! Punta muna kayo sa part 1 natin para syempre dire-diretso yung pagkatuto nyo. Kung baga makarelate kayo sa sinasabi ko dito sa part 2. Pero bago ko i-explain itong uh, part na ito, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. O, pindutin na mga anak. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin ang subscribe button. At i-hit na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na? Na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell? Dahil dyan, simula na natin. For number 4, we have here the fifth root of 3 and the fifth root of 96. Kung mapapansin natin, dahil itong 3 ay wala na siyang factor, ito yung magiging clue natin. What should be the radicand of the fifth root of 96? Since 3 ito, di-divide natin yung 96 by 3 para malaman natin yung isa pang factor. Dividing that, you will have here 3. And then 9, 0, bring down 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And then you have here 6 and then 0. So we have here, okay, the fifth root of 32 times 3. Diba? Sila yung pagmumultiply natin to get 96. Now, may fifth root ba yung 32? O, yun ang tanong ko sa inyo. Ano ngayon ang fifth root ng 32? Kung ito try nyo kung si 3 kaya, di try natin, 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27 times 3, 81 na siya, pang fourth root pa lang. So, 3 is not. Okay? So, di ba ba natin kung 2 kaya? O, ganyan yung gagawin yung mga anak ha? Trial and error. Itain na yan. Ha? <laughs> so, mag trial an error kayo. So, we have here 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Dapat 5. At dapat ang maging sagot 32. So, that siya yung maging fifth root natin. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 times 2 is 32. Yehey! So, 32 tama tayo na ang fifth root niya ay 2. So, you will have here... 2, nasa labas na siya kasi nga may fifth root siya, square root of 3. May iiwan siya sa uh, loob. Kaya ngayon, ang mga radicals natin ay fifth root of square root of 3. And so, we have here 2 square root of... Ay, sorry. Ano ba nangyayari kay Ma'am? Wait, maaga pa kasi. So, we have here 2... And then, fifth root of 3. Ayan. So, eto na ang ating mga radicals. Now, for letter A, find the sum of each pair of radicals. So, yung sum nila. Sige nga, dito tayo. We have here now, i-add natin, uh, the fifth root of 3 added to the 2 and then fifth root of 3. So, in adding, add lang natin yung mga numbers outside, di ba? So, 1 plus 2. Pero, sisiguraduhin na pare, pareho, sorry, pareho ang index at pareho ang radicand ha, pag nag add Pag magkaiba, kunyari, pareho ng fifth root, pero magkaiba naman ang radicand, you cannot add ha, copy lang yun pag ganun ang case. And then, you have here, uh, fifth root of 3. So, your answer will be 1 plus 2, you have 3, and then copy lang ito, you have this one. Ayan, 3, and then fifth root of 3. That's the sum. Okay, for the difference, subtract the first from the second. So, ang second natin ay 2, and then fifth root of 3, minus the fifth root of 3. Okay, so your answer will be 2 minus 1 and then 5th root of 3. So what is 2 minus 1? You have 1. Pag 1, hindi na sinusulat. Ha? Alam natin na kapag walang coefficient, eto, 1 na siya. Ha? So we have here, 
Ayan, the fifth root of 3. Okay na tayo dyan. No need to write 1. Para lang yan, x. ba? Alam natin, na isa na siya. Kahit hindi natin isulat yung 1 natin, alam natin, may 1 siya dito. Okay, now, find the product of each pair of radicals. So, we have here the fifth root of 3 multiplied by, ano, 2 and then the fifth root of 3 also. Okay, so you have 1 here, diba? So, 1 times 2. Okay, and then you multiply this one. Aha, the fifth root of 3 multiplied by the fifth root of 3. So, we have here 1 times 2, you have 2. And then, 3 times 3, 9. Since ang 9 ay wala namang fifth root, o di, yan na yan. Okay. For letter D, let's divide. Okay, enter ko lang. Ayan. So, we have to divide the second radical by the first radical. So, you have here 2. Uh, fifth root of 3 over the fifth root of 3. <laughs> 5 yan na, 5. <laughs> Erase ko na nga. Ang hirap naman kasing isulat ng index. So, we have here this one. Ayan, so yung lagi kong sinasabi, pag division, you just simply cancel this one, cancel this one. So, you have 2. So, that's it. Ayan, so for number 5, we have the square root of 18 and the square root of 50. So, obviously, wala pa tayong clue dito, ba? Kasi nga, ito ay may mga factors pa. So, ang gawin natin, katulad nung tinuro kong nakaraan, nung nakaraan i-reduce natin yung radicand, ha? Kasi may factor to for sure na merong square root. Si 18, ano yung factor niya na merong... Uh, square root. Sige nga, 9 times 2. Kasi yung 9, perfect square siya. So, kay 18 muna tayo ha. Square root of 18 is equal to square root of 9 times 2. Alam natin na may square root of ang 9 kasi nga siya ay perfect square. So, we have here 3. Kaya yung 3, susulat natin sa labas. And then, yung nasa loob, yung 2. Okay, dahil alam natin na square root of 2 ito, automatic, isipin natin dapat yung nasa loob nito ay square root of 2. So, yung 50, i-divide nyo by 2. 50 divided by 2, you will have 25, ba? So, we'll have here, oh, di ito dyan na, 50 or square root of 50 is equal to the square root of 25 times 2. Alam natin na may square root ang 25 and that is 5. Kaya si 5, isusulat natin sa labas and you have square root of 2. So, meron ka na ngayon dito, o oh, dito ka ilalagay ha, we have 3 square root of 2 and then 5 square root of 2. Ito na ngayon ang inyong radicals. Okay, for letter A, we have the sum. Okay, so i-add natin. 3 square root of 2 plus 5 square root of 2. Tandaan, dapat pareho ang index, pareho ang radicand bago ma-add. Okay, so we have here 3 plus 5 kasi pinag-iisa natin sila dito, ba? Square root of 2. Ngayon, kung magkaiba sila, hindi pwede. So, what is 3 plus 5? You have 8. Square root of 2. O, yan na yung addition nyo. Okay, for, num for letter B, wait. Ayan, for letter B, we have to subtract. So, we have here 5 square root of 2 kasi first muna, ba? 5 square root of 2 minus 3 square root of 2. So, you will have your 5 minus 2 square root of 2. Oh, what is 5 minus 2? You have 3. Ay, sorry. 3 pala ito. Sorry, 5 minus 3 pala. 3 ba? 3, 3. Oh, tama. Okay. Sorry. So, we have here 5 minus 3 and that is 2. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. So, you have 2 square root of 2. Ito na ngayon yung and yung difference. Now, for multiplication, which is also very easy, we have here 5 square root of 2 multiplied by 3 square root of 2. So, you will have here 5 times 3 
And then you have square root of 2 times square root of 2. Oh, may mapapansin kayo dyan, ha? So, 5 times 3 is 15. Now, square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4. Pero, yung square root of, of 4 ay may sagot, di ba? May square root ang 4, which is 2. So, you have 15 times 2. And what is 15 times 2? You have 30. O, oh, yan yung sagot. Ingat kayo dito, ha? Kung kayang isimplify, isimplify. Okay? Now, for letter D, we have... The second radical by the first radical, divide natin. So, we have 5 square root of 2 over 3 square root of 2. And then, we can cancel this. Kaya, ang matitira natin ay 5 over 3. O, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Kung hindi pwedeng ma-divide, hindi pwedeng ma-divide, eh di okay na siya. Huwag matakot. Kung pwedeng ma-divide, i-divide. Okay? Hindi yun problema. Okay, for number 6, we have this one. O, kung mapapansin ninyo, big numbers ulit ito. Pero, mas magandang kunin muna natin tong second, ha? Kasi medyo malaki ito. So, discarte nyo na yan. So, ano ba ang mga factors ni 12? Unahin ko si 12. Na merong square root. Eh, di meron tayong 4 times 3, di ba? At alam natin na ang 4 ay may square root. Ano? 2, diba? So, we will have here 2 square root of 3. And then, aha, alam natin na yung uh, radicand natin ay 3. So, dapat ito, 3 din ang radicand. Para madali, i-divide natin by 3. So, we will have here 1 times 3 is 3. And then, 4 minus uh, 3 is 1, 18. 18 divided by 3 is 6. So, you have 16. O, oh, alam nyo rin na ang 16 ay may perfect, ay perfect square siya. Alam nyo din na ang 16 ay may, ay perfect square. So, pwede natin siyang gamitin kasi square root naman yung kinukuha natin. So, we have here the square root of 48 is equal to 16 times 3. And 16, square root ng 16 ay 4. And then, maiiwan sa loob si 3. So, meron ka ditong 4. Sorry, 4 square root of 3, pumipiyok na si ma'am. And then you have 2 square root of 3. Ito na ngayon yung dalawa nating radical. Okay, for letter A, we have to add, di ba? Okay, let's add. Aha, so we have here 4 square root of 3. And then add to 2 square root of 3. So, you have 4 plus 2 times the square root of 3. Oh, what is 4 plus 2? You have 6 square root of 3. Oh, yan na yung sum ninyo. For your uh, difference, you have here uh, first radical from the second. So, yung second mo ay 2 square root of 3. Minus a 4 square root of 3. O, kakaiba ito, ba? So, you will have 2 minus a 4 square root of 3. Ito times by square root of 3. So, 2 minus 4 is negative 2, ba? Kasi, mas mataas yung mina minus kesa dun sa pinagmaminusan. So, you will have here negative 2 and then square root of 3. This is now your final answer. I-check nyo dyan, ha? Okay, for letter C, we have to find the product. Okay, so we have here, tingnan nga natin, we have here 2 square root of 3, or no, 4 square root of 3 times 2 square root of 3. <laughs> okay, so you will have here 4 times 2, you have... Uh, ayan. And then, you have square root of 3 times square root of 3. O, tingnan nyo yan, ha? Pwedeng magkasama. O, baka mamaya magtanong kayo, bakit ma'am kanina magkasama ngayon hindi? O, pwede namang ganun, ha? O, sige, para din na kayo malito. Okay, what is 4 times 2? You have there 8. And what is square root of 3 times square root of 3? That will be square root of 9. Pero, alam nyo na may square root ang 9, ano, 3. So, you will have here 8 times 3. And what is 8 times 3? You have 24. Kaya be careful, okay? And then for letter D, uh, divide the second radical by the first radical. O, oh, ang second radical natin ay 2 square root of 3, ba? So, we have here 
2 square root of 3 over 4 square root of 3. Ito, makakancel lang. What will remain is 2 over 4. Ngayon, tung 2 over 4, pwede pa siyang a lowest term. And this is 1 half. Ngayon, kung sasagot ninyo, okay na, naka lowest term na. Tapos kay ma'am, nag lowest term pa. Okay lang yun, ha? Huwag kayong, ma -ano, huwag kayong matakot or huwag kayong malito. Bakit kay ma'am nag-lowest term pa tapos dito sa sagot ko hindi na nag-lowest term? Eh kung hindi na malo-lowest term, wala na tayong magagawa dyan. Okay na yun ha. Kasi tandaan nyo, magkaiba tayo ng mga given. Okay? Dahil medyo mahaba na tong video na ito. Cut ko ulit ha, part, part 3 tayo. Medyo nakakapagod ha kasi ang daming operation sa isang given. Pero okay lang, abangan ng part 3 ha, i-upload ko din siya today. Ngayon, kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito at kung nakatulong ito sa inyo at kung wala kayong masabi, basta mag-thank you lang kayo dyan sa ating comment section. Sobrang saya ko na kasi ma-up na itong video na ito. Huwag kalimutan mga anak ha, please. Let's spread the love of ma. Thank you and bye!